place mice in the Cardiff Uni tent and we're with uh, Alain Rayon who's just uh, performed at the Cafe Mice B stage. How was it? It was good, yeah. Everyone was uh, relaxing. Oh, lush, yeah. yeah. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about your journey with Horizons covering and ultimately you? Uh, yeah, it's, oh, it's been great. Um, so, uh, the, uh, it was announced in April and then we just straight into the festival season then. So there's been lots of festivals around Wales and beyond. Um, and it's, yeah, it's been great, you know, um, I've get, got to play places that I normally wouldn't have got to play. So I uh, got to play in the Millennium Centre for the uh, Radio 2 Folk Awards. And that was great because it was in Cardiff as well, and Cardiff's my hometown, so it was, it was nice. So has Horizons um, brought you something that you wouldn't have had uh, maybe um, by like, promoting yourself or has it actually helped you rise from the uh, Well, it's, you get support, so obviously they support everything you do outside of the gigs that they organise, yeah. so you, you know, you'll get, it's, it's, you know, they, 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 promote, uh, they promote you as an artist anyway, you've got your own uh, micro site on, the web, on their website, things like that, and um, it's just, uh, you know, like I said, you get to play uh, places that maybe you normally wouldn't get to play. So it's just announced this festival number six uh, in Port Marion, so it's literally just been announced uh, this week. So I'm very excited about that. I wanted to play that for a while, so that'll be good. What about um, being at the Ace Dance? How's that? Uh, it's great. I've been coming to the Ace Dance since I was small, um, and uh, it's it's you know it's it's a brilliant thing, um, and uh, it's it's great because they've got Kathy Mice B now on, on the mice, yeah. uh, which I think is a brilliant thing. So you can, you know you can go there and chill out, lie on bean bags, and listen to music, which is Okay, great. Had you always wanted to play? Did you always see yourself playing maybe here, here somewhere? Uh, you know, no, I never really saw myself playing anywhere. I, I kind of, I was, I used to be really shy, um, so I never grew up wanting to be a performer. Um, it just kind of happened, really. I started playing open mic nights and stuff. People were like trying to force me to do it, um, and I really enjoy it now. But it was quite hard at the start, so I never kind of thought, sort of thought, oh yeah, I, I want to play the Estevan. Um But it's, it's a, you know, it's a great thing to do. I think it's, a, you know, it's a great part of Welsh culture, um, and uh, I've been coming, like I said, since I was small. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it's brilliant. Okay. And obviously, um, you have a bit of a famous name now, so. Do you think the artistic fibre runs through the family, with your brother being an actor? Yeah, well, um, I, I don't know really. Um, we've, it's just kind of something I think we both do. I think he's always wanted to be an actor, um, but he's also a musician, so he recorded an album and we did a song together, so that was nice. It was nice to get to work together. Um, but um, yeah, I think, it's, it's, I, I guess it must do. It must, there must be something there, but uh, it's, it's not like something practiced or anything. It's just something that's... We, we just do. <laughs> and what about um, using Welsh language and English language? I gather you sing in both languages. So how do you sort of incorporate the, the mix? Is it important for you to keep both? Yeah, well, well Welsh is my first language. Um, and uh, I, was, I, was, you know, I can't even remember learning English. I was, I was so small. Um, and I've always written in both. And, you know, they're both important to me. They're both part of who I am, really. Um, so it's great to be able to write in both and sing in both. Um, and, you know, you get a different feel, a different vibe, depending on what language you, you're singing. So uh, I just uh, I just enjoy singing both languages. And it's just something, uh, again, I've always done. Is there one that you prefer? That's a hard question. I, as in Welsh is my first language. So I think that is rooted deeper. You know, that's, it's, it's really important to me to keep the Welsh language. Uh, uh, you know, going and alive, and it's great that you know that even now we can sing and write in Welsh because so many people have fought to keep it going, uh, and I'm really proud of that. Um, you know, having said that, I, um, I think English is also a um, a very versatile language to write in. Um, Welsh is more poetic. It's a beautiful language, um, and uh, it's very much more poetic. So um, I, I don't really, you know, I, I think. Um, it's, it's great to be able to write more about it. Okay, last question. Um, what are your plans next? How are you seeing yourself in the future? In the future? Well, hopefully playing Glastonbury now. Um, I oh, yeah, <laughs> um, I've got a new record coming out so towards the end of this year. Um, we've been recording that. The first record, Sarah and Diskin, was out a couple of years ago. Uh, so I've been playing live and concentrating on playing as many gigs as I can since then and writing more. Um, and we've got, so this new record will be a mixture of English and Welsh um, and it'll be out sort of nearer the end of the year, hopefully autumn time. Thank you very much.
Thank you.